have your dollar for the rest of my life. Hello, party people. I'm at Home Goods right now. Home Goods, it's all right. I know I just released a video. I think we were at Marshall's, but that was like a month ago. It took me a while to like upload it. Anyway, last time we went is what I'm trying to say. Last time we went shopping at like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshall's, all that good stuff. They weren't really stocked. So I'm at a really nice home goods today, or at least I think it is. So we're gonna go inside and go shopping, see what they have to offer. I, uh, will their shelves be bare? We're gonna find out. Let's go. a ton of summer stuff out which is nice because it's still only July. I love all of the yellow tones. Oh my goodness. And you know what? When we went to the beach house I saw someone using one of those to cover their food. So innovative. I literally I don't know if it's just because I saw them at Home Goods a while ago or if I'm finally becoming an adult and noticing small things like that but I've never seen someone use uh, one of those before. I love that lemon platter in the back. Oh my gosh, look at this. Orange juice and champagne, nice. This really sweet patio set. Oh my gosh, look at that table. A little daisy table. I am in love. Look at this horse head right here. I love all of these planters that they have. They're so large. I need some large ones for my home. But look at this, $40, that horse head could be in your home. This little section's pretty cute too. I don't know why I'm drawn to these things, like that lion down there. And then this guy right here. Why do I love him so much? Maybe because he's covered in succulents. <gasps> oh, and then the little fairy, I didn't even see her. All right, that planter is beautiful up there. Kind of reminds me of a bird cage. These are all beautiful. Ooh, all of these planters up here. $15 for that large one. Oh my gosh, this planter right here, it says plant, but I saw one online that says, it looks like a Ray Dunn print and it says, please don't die or something like that. It was so funny. The back wall back here, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of falling in love with that zebra up here. Do you see him? So stinking cute. Why am I attracted to stuff like this? Oh my gosh, look at these wind chimes. Just beautiful. Oh, that watermelon basket. Watermelon sugar. I've been looking for a little planter like this. Not little, it's quite large. But to hold some herbs and stuff, this one is $40 and it is gorgeous some fake flowers right there. Oh, a little picnic basket. Look at that little set up there. That is nice. Oh, a bumblebee. Is that a bumblebee or a fly? Probably a fly. My insect knowledge is pretty much non-existent. I try to stay away from insects at all costs. Ooh, behind me, it looks like someone changed their mind on this little shelf there. Quite darling. And then all of these bags, I'm in heaven. What is this, unicorn? Uh, cotton candy there. Ooh, that, I love how Home Goods always has just random treats. Ooh, last time I was here, they had the heavenly hunks. Look at all this, but they had like a chocolate, a white chocolate and cranberry. It was divine. I wonder if they'll have it again. I don't see it, but we can look together. Oh, those gin gins. Ugh, remind me of pregnancy. Oh, look at this. They have all kinds of pastas and stuff. It's kind of like World Market where they just have random foods, <laughs> like shelf-stable foods, you know? How did I almost skip this little paradise over here? 
watermelons on everything, which I absolutely adore. And then over here, this cactus. What is this? Does it hold utensils or something? Oh no, a thermos. Does it hold a thermos? Oh my gosh, even better. Wine, you guys. It's a wine caddy. That is amazing. Oh my gosh, namaste home with my cat. I love mugs. People are so creative with the things that they put on mugs. Teachers have class. That's nice. Uh, anything else you see? Those owl mugs are really cute. Best flippin' sister. Love that. Okay, I think I made it to like the cookie aisle. There's trail mix cookies right here. Heavenly, oh yes, Heavenly Hunks should be right here. Oatmeal chocolate chip. And then they have oatmeal white chocolate, which I have not had. Sounds delicious. I'm not even a fan of white chocolate, but the white chocolate and cranberry is to die for. Also, the price of that is also to die for, so. I don't even know what this is. A little bee tea party set. They have like a butter canister. They've got a platter down there. That is beautiful. I'm more prevy to like things that look like this. Look, at, it kind of reminds me of like that Polish pottery. Is that what this is even? It's just so beautiful. I love the different colors and prints. Oh my heavens. Look at all of this blue and white. Wait, is that a crab? Is that a crab down there? Kind of looks like one. Am I seeing that right? Like a sea creature? All these platters are so pretty. Look at that cake stand or cake transporter. I don't know, a cake. What's the word I'm trying to look, think of? What is that? A cake holder? Well, who cares? But right next to it are those beads. Oh, I'm living for that. Birds of a feather flock together. Mom, oh my gosh, on beach time, loving all this flamingo stuff. And that little canister back there. Oh look, there's another cake holder. It's blue. Oh, mom to be. Oh, love that. Grandma's kitchen, yum. Oh, steep it, yeah. Steep it real good. Oh, look down here, another cake platter. Oh, cute. Oh no, wait. Look, they're like cardboard. There's multiple. I like how this home goods has everything um, separated by like colors. Like there's green, all the green stuff is right there. I never noticed this in my home goods. Ooh, Whitney Houston. Yes. Oh, I found a clearance aisle. A uh, yeah. Oh, banana holder. Oh, look at the All the cool stuff right here. Yay, yay. Oh, even more. Look at all this stuff. Look at this little teapot. Begins to fade. <laughs> Am I coming upon the cutting boards? All the plastic ones are right there. My lonely home comes. Oh, yes. Look at all these cutting boards. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Ooh, okay. You guys know I am always on the hunt for a unique looking cutting board like that one up here. Oh, look at this one too. So rustic. I feel like anything I will cut is just gonna, this one's definitely just for decor, $25. <laughs> the lemon one down there is very cute. These are very large, oblong shaped. I really like this one that has the smooth edges. Oh my gosh, this is the most cutting boards I've seen in a really long time. I'm like freaking out, overwhelmed, don't know what to look at first. Ooh, pretty print. Love this one. Not a cutting board. Oh, is this a Lazy Susan? Uh, yes it is. Can you just look at how gorgeous this is? Oh, one finger spin. Oh, do you die? Oh my gosh, what do you put in that? So cute. Oh my goodness, I love this circular cutting board. How much is it? It's only $15. I love this detail up here too. Oh my gosh, I, do I need another cutting board? Absolutely not. Do I want one? Oh look, this one is huge too. Be great for a charcuterie. You could put a whole bunch of stuff on that. I feel like I need a little edge though, you know, so nothing spills off. Okay, I'm in the like teapot and colander aisle, I guess is what this is. Look at this stinking pig. A pig colander? Oh my gosh, look at that kettle. I've never seen one printed like that. That is gorgeous. What? I'm jealous. Mine is just see-through and ugly. That food canister set is only $13. Uh, say what? It's 20 pieces, but it's circular. So like who wants that? Then they have all of these down here. Oh my gosh, hold up, hold up. Look, wait a second, look at these. The tops are like wooden. $8 for that too. It's a pretty fantastic Adelio. Oh my gosh. I just love Tupperware containers, you guys. Look at all of those. All the things you can store in those. 
Oh, and then water bottles. Truly, truly my favorite section right here. How much is this one? Because they have something similar. Oh, $40. They have something similar at Costco. It may be the same exact thing. And I always wonder the price comparison. I recently bought some beach chairs at Costco that go on Amazon for like a million dollars, but I got it for 30. What? Oh, what? A honeycomb ice cube tray. Now that is pretty sweet. I like how they have lids. These ice cube trays have lids. Genius. Okay, some baking supplies right there. Oh, I love all of these cupcake holders. Can we say gorgeous? Baking cups right there. And then what else did I see? Oh, these silicone mini ones for four bucks. What a screaming deal. Seriously. Oh, look at this little cake. What the heck is this? Cake cover? Cake stand? Whatever the heck it is. That is, reminds me of like the 70s. Very retro. I'm here for it. I'm into it. Oh, look a little, can you, what are you putting there? Cupcakes? Anything really, I guess. Oh, look at all of these. Transport your baked goods. Love all of those. This platter right here though. Can you put this in the oven? And it's beautiful to serve in. That's the kind of stuff I need to start looking into. Okay, another thing that Home Goods does really well is they always have an assortment of like storage containers for a really great price. These acrylic ones are always like a really decent price here. I saw something else over here. Oh, this avocado. Oops, I'm going backwards. Hold on. There's an avocado holder. Someone cracked into that on the ghost snacking containers. Ooh, don't cut your finger off on that mandolin. Oh, and then this thing, it makes zoodles. Is that still trendy? Do people still do that? Oh, I wonder if this is any good. I'm in the market for a really good waffle maker. Like one that makes nice and crispy waffles. Mine are always like soft and then I have to put them in the toaster. It's just another step. I know I'm complaining about nothing that matters. Ooh, leak proof storage bags. Love that. Someone's having like a field day over there making a whole bunch of noise. Corn dogs, mini corn dogs. That's pretty cool. And then it looks like a corn, you know? Love that. Love a good detail. Ooh, a micro blade. Four pieces. Ooh, I kind of want to get that. What is happening over here? Oh, okay. She's That's what she's doing. She's stocking shelves. We approve. Oh my gosh, this one over here. Snackable. Feed me. I need a, a hat that says feed me. Feed me forever. Oh, look, reusable produce bags. Some of you have asked where I got mine. I got mine from TJ Maxx, but they're here. Someone took a bag. That's messed up. There's a ton more food storage containers over here. And I recently bought some from, I think Marshall's is where I was. It was like a 10 piece set like this. It's like $10. You cannot beat the price. Mine are rectangular, but those are square. Look, they're freezer safe, microwave safe, dishwasher safe safe for everything. Look at behind me too. We're about to see a lot of wood. Look at this bowl. Beautiful. A lot of wood right here. It's beautiful. Oh, and then a flamingo right in the middle of it. It's pretty funny. Oh, I do need a, a new utensil holder, but I need a bigger one than what I have. Maybe that one. Be time? Be time? Oh, be true. <laughs> All right. What's over here? Some more wood. Oh, look at this one. This little stand. That is cute. Oh, and then these Lazy Susans. I didn't know there was such a market for Lazy Susans. Oh, tools. This is where I need to look right here. These tool holders. Hmm. And then they always have really, it's a pretty good deal on baskets that they offer. You know, if you don't have an Ikea in here, I'm trying to think of where I get my baskets. I don't really know. Oh, garbage cans over there. But um, like storage baskets and stuff. We got a pretty decent price for them. Some more storage organization over here. Are you guys into baskets that look more, you know, like fabric like that? Or the plastic ones? Ooh, ooh, family, home sweet home. Love these little entryway um, hangers. Oh, mudroom, love that one. Very cool. One day I might have a mudroom, but for now we do not. Number one mom, mom's favorite things. I don't think that's big enough to fit a jar of Nutella. Oh, look at this one. You are beautiful. Look at all of this wicker stuff over here. Jewelry. Ooh, oh, watch this. Hot mama right there. <laughs> Pretty accurate. I'm always hot, always sweating. Look at these bath mats. I've never seen them so organized. My home goods does not look this nice, um, but I am in the market for some. How much are they? Ooh, 24 for a two set. Ooh, this one's 17. 
All right, decent, decent, decent. I'm in the bath section now. Look at that soap container. It looks like a perfume container, like a pump. So pretty, I'm so impressed. I don't usually, ooh, is that bathroom furniture? I don't usually shop in the bathroom section here, mostly because I just try to ignore the fact that my bathrooms exist in general. Uh, but they have some really, really pretty stuff. Like look at that toothbrush holder. And then down here, this little um, like shower, what do, what do they officially call this? A spa bench, I don't know. It's only $50 though. Really nice for what it is. Oh look, if you needed to be reminded of what these things are used for, perfect. Look at this basket. Oh, that would be a beautiful laundry basket. Gorgeous. Just all of this stuff. It's so beyond. If I put anything like that in my bathroom, I would just laugh. <laughs> It'd be the nicest thing in my entire bathroom. Okay, over here, they have a lot of storage stuff, shower caddies. Oh, you know what? I need a towel rack. I bought one from Ikea, but it kind of looks chintzy. So, I don't know. Ooh, a massager. That looks nice right there. Oh, I do need a new shower liner. Ooh, that's good. Here's one, six bucks, done. Also, I just realized these are not towel rods, they're shower rods. Maybe that's why they look so extreme. I picked up a shower liner. Now I'm kind of interested in getting a shower curtain. This one back here, the print, beautiful. And this one is 17 bucks. What, some of them are 24. Try to show you around, see if we can pink pink at <laughs> the most prints that we could see. Oh, here it is right up front, 25, okay. That's so cute though, right? Should I get it? It's so pretty, oh my gosh. Oh, you know what else we need? A new laundry basket. We do need one, ours is like falling apart and breaking. This one's calling my eye. So stinging pretty, but then I just envision Wentworth just destroying it and climbing inside and breaking it. You know, he's the reason why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't have nice things. Look at all of these like toilet brush cleaners. Look how pretty they are. Yeah, I'm like in awe. Clearly my bathroom needs some tender love and care the way that I'm talking about it. I did not expect to get bathroom stuff here, but here I am because, you know, we do need it. We are getting it painted soon, so a little revamp won't hurt. I like this laundry basket too. How much? Get yes, that price. Ooh, 25. Is that bad or good? Laundry baskets are typically pretty pricey. I wanna say I spent $20 on mine and it looks like garbage. By the way, I just looked, this one is $40, so there's that. I'm kind of partial to just buying that one. How much was that one? Did we even look? I'm afraid to. All right, here it is. Moment of truth. Guess that price. Ooh, 40 bucks. They can keep it. <laughs> okay, I usually skip over this part of home goods, but I'm glad that I'm kind of looking at it. These are shower curtains, and uh, not shower curtains. They're uh, just plain old curtains, but look how gorgeous this one is. Maybe when the kids get their own room, they would adore that. At least I know Eleanor would. There's two panels in there for $16. Um, goodbye, Target. This is where I'm shopping for curtains from now on out. Right? I mean, like a screaming deal. I feel like, oh my gosh, this one's so pretty too. I just love like a gentle, understated look. Well, do I? I don't know. That fig tree is 70 bucks. I'll give you a peek on the furniture that they have a little bit. Pretty cool. Oh my gosh, you know what I love? All the way at the end here. It's like an apothecary. Oh, I would have loved it if the drawers were divided, but it's just uh, three drawers. It's deceiving, pretty, but deceiving. I would love that. And then over here, some other good stuff. Ooh, so what is this called? Like a bedside table, side table? <laughs> you guys, I want this soundtrack. They're playing Shania Twain. Look at these mirrors. Ooh, I love different shapes in mirrors too. More over here. Very pretty. Go on. Come on, leave me breathless. Wait, this is not Shania Twain. Is it? Now I'm second guessing my life. It's definitely not Shania Twain. Look at this though. I do need some artwork for the kids room. I've been looking for a really long time. I just, uh, I can't find stuff that I absolutely love and just all the kids share a room right now and they all have very different tastes. So I'm kind of waiting until the 
a couple years when we move. <laughs> I don't know, I shouldn't. I love this one though, these planets. Is Pluto included? Ayo, Pluto right there makes me so happy. But that's good life advice right there. Just keep on keeping on. I really like stuff that looks like this, the aesthetic of it. Where is she? Oh, good old Perry. I feel like I've been there. I have been there. <sighs> Feels like a long time ago. Here's some more artwork. Ooh, that turtle, that elephant. I'm here for it. Oh my heavens. Look at these easels. Lord almighty. You are an extreme artist if you have a couple of those lying around your house. Ooh, believe in yourself? Yes, please. All right, here's some more. Ooh, beach scenery. I like that one. Family. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, gotta love the beach. Always love the beach. I am forever on the hunt for picture frames that are unique and different looking. Sometimes the inside print is, what's the word, misleading. Ooh, more down here. I'm gonna walk backwards because no one is coming. <laughs> okay. All right, do we see anything worthy? Worthy of my dollar dollar bills. Is there anything here? That sparks our interest. Ooh, this one kind of looks like a mermaid. Eleanor would like that one for sure. Pretty, pretty. I like the lemon stuff down there. More furniture over here. Some stools and such. Oh, look at this guy. Hello, is he on clearance? Oh, what a cutie. I don't know if I was expecting like fall stuff here. Definitely nothing fall is out. It's still July. Just Hobby Lobby confuses the heck out of me, okay? But they have a lot of beach decor out, which, you know, I'm here for it. I live in Florida, whatevs. Also another thing I'm weirdly obsessed with that doesn't make any sense are tote bags. Like, what does this one say? Have to know. Life's a peach. Eight bucks for that? Come on, home goods. Ooh, gotta love a good candle aisle. But at this time, it is torture. Wait, do they have my favorite? They have vanilla and pineapple back there. Oh, you guys, these DW candles have changed my life. Brilliant grapefruit, I'm sniffing it. I can't, it's it's so hard to sniff. Ooh, okay, I just tidied up my desk area with you guys. <gasps> Peeking on some stuff over there. And I did mention that I wanted to get a few things for my desk, so this seems like a great opportunity to do that. We'll see if they have anything that I find helpful. I usually just get overwhelmed and then leave with nothing, so. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, okay, a fabric roll. I didn't know that Home Goods sold fabric like this. So pretty, first of all. Second of all, they give you some ideas. Ooh, I just hit my head on the shelf. <laughs> I hit it again. Oh, okay, pillow covers, a quilt, a tote bag. Ooh, chair cushions, very nice, if you are crafty. Ooh, a planner. I don't wanna talk about it right now. Master plan, okay, okay. Okay, keep moving past the planners. I have an addiction, I have found out. Ooh, this week, look at that uh, board back there, that whiteboard, that is pretty cool. Things to do that week. I have a problem with whiteboards because they just get smeared because I have kids who don't know how to have nice things. Ooh, look at this stuff. Pray big, all these lemons. Love the lemons. Could you imagine this with a bunch of pens in it? Oh, love that. Love it. Uh, not gonna get it. All my pens would be scattered all over the floor from my kids. Work hard and be kind. Guys, truer words. Also love this. That is gorgeous. Power strips. Ooh, string lights. That's nice. How to be a great week. Oh no, why did I read that like so wrong? This is going to be a great week. Great words of wisdom right there. You can take that, implement that in your own lifestyle today, right now. Ooh, pretty box. Okay, I knew that they sold these hangers. I did not know that they came in different colors. These lavender, peach, blue, green. I'm loving it, loving, loving. And then of course they have neutral colors down here. Even the wood, black, gray, and then a creamy white. Oh, oh. Oh my goodness, oh my heaven. The pink over here, they have a whole wall of pink. Pretty, pretty princess, love, love, love it. Of course, I'm not gonna exchange the ones that I have because it's like four, oh, $14 for 35. It's actually a pretty good deal, I'm not gonna lie. Costco, you can't beat that deal, but at Costco, $50, I think sometimes it's on sale for $10 but they're all black, they only have black. Look at this um, baby stuff too. Oh, that sleep sack. 
And then they have, ooh, Gussy, Gassy Gus. Can't forget about Gassy Gus over there. He's eating too many beans. Eating chili too much this week. So pretty. Those are window panels. Oh, look at this. A little, what is that, a towel? Oh no, it's a um, like a sleepover bag. That's cute. Oh gosh, I've completely abandoned my cart, but for good cause. Look at these water bottles. How much? Oh my gosh, they're only $8. Ugh, I hate to buy one if my kid doesn't pick it out, because then you know how they are. <laughs> you know how kids can be. <gasps> this stool is darling as well. I love their wooden stools. I have multiple of them. That's a lie. I have one of them. I want multiple. <laughs> Look at this one, the fox. So stinking cute. Home goods. This is getting me right here. Okay, look at this. Blinds cleaner. You, what? What an invention this is. Before people used tongs and like wrapped a cloth around it. I just use a duster and go wild. Ooh, like a feather duster like that. But mine's green and like from the 70s, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, okay, ooh, ah, let's take a look at these baskets. And then over here, we got some more baskets. Well, there's more than baskets actually. Ooh, 16 compartment shoe organizer. Little stool there too, very nice. Okay, I'm pretty sure we have gone down every aisle of home goods right now, which I was not expecting to do. Ooh, some more stools. What's on the top of that? A pink, pink unicorn pony? Okay, I just realized I didn't go over like the really nice furniture here. Should I do that for you guys? Look at this piece of artwork as well. Three hundo. And that chair, I kind of like that. Oh, look at that rug. They have good prices on their rugs too. I mean like decent prices because let's be honest, let's peek on them. 300, 200, 400. I mean rugs are expensive guys, depending on the size. Pull of chairs right there. Oh, pillows, don't get me started. I'm. I have it in my mind that I need new pillows. I mean, we do need new pillows, but I just, I'm not ready to dive in yet. Oh, but look at all of them. They are really pretty. I just, I'm not the, I, uh, I can't. Of course I say that, and then I see a pillow with turtles on it. Come on, how can I say no to that? Hey, y'all. Oh, why do they put, why do they load up right before you get to the register? I don't have enough time to impulse buy. So stinking pretty, all this stuff. I don't have time to look through it and really make a, I mean, I guess that's why they call it an impulse buy because you're forced to impulsively buy it and make a decision. Like that cat notebook, I would totally say yes. But my brain is telling me, Kim, you don't need a cat notebook. Put that crap back down. All right, some bags. Ooh, adventure. I like this one. Adventure dog toys. Shut your face. A Mutella. I am dying inside. That's the funniest thing I've seen all day. <laughs> oh, okay. More bags. All right. What does this checkout look like? No line. Amen. Hallelujah. What do you see? You see anything you like? Home is where your Nana is. Rainbows. I can't, I can't look at all this stuff. Ooh, ooh. They have uh, reusable masks. Very nice. Oh, ooh, $15. A little steep. All right, you guys. Say goodbye to Home Goods. I have my goods. And uh, two things. Ooh, three things. It's windy. First thing, Hobby Lobby is right down the strip. There are so many things. On. There's Burlington. There's Five Below. There's Dollar Tree. Literally so many stores. Earth Fair. I think they went out of business though. It was like a grocery store. But also across the street, there's an at home. So I'm going to go to at home and Hobby Lobby. I don't know if I'll be combining it with this video, but if I'm not, then smash that subscribe button. <laughs> I will definitely be putting those videos up at a later time, or maybe they're already up. I don't clearly, have you met me? I'm a mess. But I do know I will be making my rounds, so enjoy shopping. We are now at At Home. Never been here before. I know it's like a home decor place. It looks enormous. So I'm excited to go inside. Okay, so far it's giving me like Lowe's vibes, but it's somehow nothing like Lowe's. 
so like the scent in here i don't know what they're pumping in the vents but it is strong also maybe that's what's reminding me of lowe's just that right up front and also very open space oh my gosh it's like perfume in the air oh my gosh look at that cat with the sunglasses on lion it's such a weird vibe in here i don't know how to explain it but I like it. It's like Big Lots meets Lowe's meets Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Ooh, look at over here. So nice, lots of fall stuff. 50% off, whatever this is. I'm just doing a run through because, uh, well, I don't need anything specifically. Let's travel back this way. And I got a babe at home. I've got to leave soon. You know what's I mean? Ooh, those mirrors are nice. But you know what I saw? I saw Halloween stuff over here and you guys know I'm down for a good Halloween. Oh my gosh, I'm too sexy for my skin. You're so humorous. Don't hex my vibe. Wow, wow. So unique. I love that stuff. Very, very cool. It's everywhere. I'm too sexy for my skin. I am here for all this Halloween stuff. You know what I'm not here for? The scent in the air. What is that? Do they spray everything with perfume? I'm sure I'll get used to it in just a minute here. Ghouls just want to have fun. That's cute right there. Don't be a scaredy cat. Oh, I like all this stuff. Are you guys ready for Halloween? How are we doing Halloween this year? Have we decided? What is this dude doing? He looks cool. I would definitely want him in my front yard for sure. Oh, and then the spiders, of course. Oh dear. Why is this stuff on clearance? Oh dear. Oh, look at this. It's a nice frame. Oh, okay. All of those uh, side tables. Look at that. That's nice. It's a nice way to know that no one's going to disturb your, you know, setup because no one can get to it. Oh, okay, lots of bones right here for Halloween. Oh, fall stuff down here. Okay, very nice, I'm into it. Kind of scared. My friend told me yesterday, oh look, Jack, my friend told me yesterday that they had uh, Halloween stuff out at Target, but only online and only for pre-order. Wait a minute, gather together in gratitude. I'm being loud because this place is echoey. <laughs> I'm here for it. Here for all this stuff. Spooky, spooky, haunted valley cemetery. Ooh, come and stay a while. Love that. Trick or treat. I guess, is it time to start planning Halloween costumes? Are we doing Halloween costumes? Look at this. How are the prices? Oh, similar to Hobby Lobby. $24 for this thing, which is a decent price. No sales though. Oh my gosh, it's October witches. Oh yes, I love that. I kind of have secretly always wanted a sign that says that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I know I keep talking about it, but the scent in here, what? Is no one talking about this? The scent uh, of at home. Is it supposed to smell like someone's home? Is that what they're going for? Like, oh, nice and cozy, comfy. But what about those people who have like issues with scents? <laughs> Promise that's the last time I'm gonna talk about it. Well, I don't promise anything, so I'll probably say something about it again. All right, all this fall decor. Pretty, pretty pumpkin peach. I love it all, actually. Hey there, pumpkin. Oh my gosh, look at those turkeys. Long neck. <laughs> are you getting a good vibe of this place? Do you like this stuff or are you like, huh? It's like a, we have stores like this. Ooh, I guess, you know, my blood type is pumpkin spice. That's pretty funny. I do like how they have uh, different sayings here. Like I haven't seen anything yet that says Hocus Pocus. I know Michael's is big on that. Double, double, boil and trouble. Toil and trouble. This is my favorite uh, Ashley and Mary-Kate Olsen movie. All right, some more spooky things over here. Oh my gosh, wait for it. Ooh, a spell book. I'm always into that. Pick your poison. And then we have, ooh, try me. I bet it's just a bunch of lights. This guy is spooky. Oh, you could shove him down like a sewer in your neighborhood. That would be hilarious. Oh, candy corn cutie. Okay, there's two types of people in the world. Those who like candy corn and those who do not. <laughs> Which one are you? 
These things are really cute for a tiered tray or something. I mean, what else do you do with these little things? Just put them around your home, I guess. Get your witchy on. Okay, this is different. We've got some gargoyles. Ooh, a turkey. I would like to have him in my yard. Patio sets over here. I like this. Oh, hold up. I think I missed an aisle. I did miss an aisle. Did we see this stuff? I don't think so. Oh wait, I just scanned over it. Okay, moving on. Ah, that's what I saw, this horse head. You see this? It's like a, a chess piece. I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. All right, what else do we see here? Oh, I think we've made it to the bath section. Oh, some pillows. Let's see how much the pillows are. $15, so not my budget. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a budget for pillows. That was just a joke. I don't know. So towels they have. They have some curtains here. Or, yep, yeah, curtains. Ooh, some bath mats right there. That pineapple. They have some outdoor rugs. $80, $50, depending on size. Ooh, this one on clearance is calling my name. It's $35, was $60. Oh, these are all on clearance. Very nice. We do need an outdoor rug, but I don't like any of those. I really like this one, of course. It's $100. I really liked, what was I talking about? Oh, a rug I found at Target. It was $300, so I said, no thank you. Oh my goodness, look at all of this they have. These look like umbrellas for your patio, 70 bucks. I feel like I'm screaming because <laughs> it's like so empty and open. So they have a lot of outdoor furniture. Oh, look at all the umbrellas just hanging out up there. They've got some blankets down yonder. All right, what else is down here? Pillows, some greenery. Ooh, pillows, home textiles. This is nice. Okay. Ooh, a lot of chairs. Do you see the chairs? Lots of options if you're in the market. Stools right here. All right, see, I had no idea what they even sold here. Ooh, look at these chairs. Those are fun for a hundred dollars. Very cool. I have some artificial plants right here. Even more. They actually have a lot of options in every category. So like all of these chairs. It's craziness. I'm like beside myself. I didn't know what to expect when I came in here, but this place is pretty sweet. I read Ooh, umbrella stands. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at how enormous that shelf is. It's the size, it comes up to my shoulder. Oh, wow. I don't know where to go. Ooh, they have organizational bins down this aisle. Do we see some hangers? Oh my gosh, look. They have all different colors. No slip, 50 pack for $20. That is a, what I call a screaming deal. Oh, clearance down this aisle. Can we resist it? We sure can. Oh, even more clearance and I see laundry baskets. Okay, I can't resist this one. I like this laundry basket. Doesn't look like it's on clearance though, but they do have a nice selection of like different styles of laundry baskets and different prints and things like that. If the bottom truly, oh, okay. Is it only where it says clearance? Cause I don't see tags, like clearance tags on the actual items. So that's something to note. I have a lot of uh, shower caddies. Okay, they actually have rows and rows of baskets. So it's like all your favorite stores wrapped into one. Lowe's, Home Depot, maybe not Home Depot. They definitely don't sell wood or paint. Maybe they do, we have not seen the whole store. Okay, I have been won over. All those water bottles. I was kind of thinking like, where the heck am I? What is this place? Look, kitchen supplies down here. See you on the flip side. That's pretty funny. <laughs> All these baskets, even more baskets. Oh, wine uh, racks and that sort of thing. Ooh, and then containers. Okay, they've got a lot of containers over here. So basically they have everything that you're looking for. Oh, look, I am looking for this. Something to store my utensils in. Hmm, interesting. All right. So at home has it all, basically, is what they're trying to tell me. All these organizational jars. Okay, lots of mirrors over here. Oh, and then they've got a cow back there. More wonderful decor. 
All right, so we're on our way out. I hope you enjoyed your stay with me. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Oh, look at these cute little artwork. All right, what else do we have? Oh, they have a lot of um, like wall decor. That stuff is pretty cool. It's like a bulk supply. <laughs> Look at this shelf. It's like Ikea meets home goods, kind of. I don't know, can't really compare it. Ooh, here we are, clearance, and I do see red stickers. All right, pillows, oh, there's that scent again. It must be just up front. All right, at home, it's been real and it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. <laughs> that is it. Do you guys see anything that you liked in the store? I hope you did. I hope you enjoyed shopping with me, taking a virtual vacation, a virtual shopping trip. Sometimes it's just nice to tune out what is happening right now and just free your mind and mindlessly window shop. So I hope I gave you a little escape today. Um, I know I did. And uh, that is it. I will see you next time. Bye.